just want to remind all the viewers, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm asking, I'm just, I'm kindly asking everybody just, uh, just remember um, that we need those subscribers. So if you guys could, uh, just asking you guys to do that would be great if you guys would. Um, but I'm going to jump right here into the show. Uh, welcome to Film Attic. I am your host, the film doctor. Not a real doctor. Like I didn't go to <laughs> medical school. Ooh. Ooh, those levels went high. That Excuse was really me. loud. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I, I, no disrespect. Uh, no offense. I, I know ain't no pilot in your house either. I don't know where. It, that was really loud. <sighs> about to get somebody in trouble up in here. Okay, here we go. Um, you scared? Huh? You scared? Uh, yeah, I am. Ooh. Let me do the intro right then since we scared. I ain't scared around here. I ain't never scared. Oh, 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 oh. and he clapping. And that's a lot of claps. Oh, you is about to get in trouble. Don't do and that. Don't the do that. No, you're screaming. Oh, and you better not shake the Loud. Jay. Oh, 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 my God. Yeah, I did it. They said something about yeah, money don't make no money. Baby I syndrome. Yeah, you, now what? Now what? Now what? Uh, I'm telling you something right now, Dr. Dre. You about to get an email or a text or a fax. Come down here now. Mm -hmm. I, I try Who do they think they're talking to? This is my show. Uh, Who do they think they're talking is, to? It's addressed to you, I'm pretty sure. So they're talking to you. But come that ain't none down, of my business. Come down here now or be fired. Mm. Mm. I tried to tell them. I tried to. Mm. This is your fault. Ain't none of my business. I, I'm trying to tell him I already been there. And it's gonna get ugly. Yep, with your head down, walk away, you old yeller. Yep, you going you gonna get the. Does he have no pants on? Okay, it's yeah. You really about to get in trouble because it's about to get ugly up in here. I know. Why am I being called into the principal's office? Excessive talk. Excessive noise. The people like my intro. Now y'all trying to change my intro all up. I can't do this. Right up. No more yelling or excessive clapping. This is your first warning. I don't care about no warning. Who is y'all? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I get that he gave y'all the power to hire and hire people and this whole HR thing. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. I get it. Let's not let's not go straight to firing people now. I just got a first warning. Don't I get like a like an intermediate warning first? Listen, I, I'll go. I'll apologize. I'm sorry. It, it, no, no more, no more film surgery, none of that. Okay, okay, I I'll go apologize to the people. Can can we just stop trying to jump to the end and fire me? This is this is him, man. I know this is him. He hired y'all, didn't he? Don't worry about who hired. This is crazy, man. I, I, this place is crazy. Yeah, I'll go and apologize, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you you can keep the right up. Keep the right up. I don't want it. Man, whatever I'm going. Mmm, mmm, different tune here. Yep. I yep. apologize mm. for my levels, as we do not want to disturb our viewers of all ages. Word for word. Mm -hmm. With loud sounds, excessive clapping. Mm. This is not a black woman at her son or daughter's graduation. This is mm. a professional show. Mm. You are not inside the hood at the movie theaters. This is ridiculous. I will behave myself better the next time. Mm. Yes, you will. So that Film Addict can continue to be a great show for all audiences. Mm. Well said. Here. Well said. Apologies. Uh, welcome to Film Addict. I am your host, the film doctor. Um, 
please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I won't be shooting off any guns or anything in here because uh, a lot of fireworks were shot off and we hope everyone was safe uh, on that 4th of July uh, weekend. So uh, you can go ahead with your intro. Let's try and keep it down some. The fact that you're enjoying this bothers me. I, I just, I've learned my lesson. No one's enjoying anything. I've learned my lesson. Ooh, ooh, be careful. And the film surgeon mm. with feeling. And the film surgeon. Mm. Welcome back to the attic mm. with more feeling. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to read it. Mm. Welcome back to the attic. Everyone. Mm. Today, we have an exciting film to review. Mm. The Tomorrow War, mm. starring Chris Pratt, coming to us from Prime Video. So let's jump right into our film review. <clears throat> the Tomorrow War. Um, you know, there's so much that I could say personally about it. I think that it has, it's a good movie. I really do like it. I, I think that for the for it to be Netflix and not some major motion picture, although Netflix is big, it, the the action and the special effects for this was was really well done. When I look at that to compare that to an actual action film like Vanguard, why why is it that their special effects, their action, their storytelling, why was that so pristine, so like movie like quality compared to Vanguard in that capacity? Um, now, I don't think that Chris Pratt, and I guess it's because he's known as a comedic actor, yeah, maybe they could have gone with someone else. You know, I, I would have loved Michael to B. see Jordan. Tom Cruise. Michael B. Jordan, Tom Cruise. I don't know, somebody else inside of that capacity. But even for what it's worth, Chris Pratt did a good job inside of it. Um, the story at, at some point, you know, I had to watch it about three, three or four times I watched this movie. But the story was kind of confusing that first time through, um, you know, how everything played out to be... 30 years apart moving at the same time and they kind of when they explained the story they kind of said whatever they said and then they, they didn't want any more questions and so inside the movie the guy says well that's it period no like no answer. like he was like basically telling us don't ask no more questions because we know it's confusing but this is all don't ask. no <laughs> questions um i like the way the like at first i was like these aliens look kind of stupid but they they were pretty scary and well done like they didn't look fake all the time there was one time that the the queens in a in a cage and and coming up to the cage and breathing and screaming whatever and I was like that looks see like I can tell that just looks fake and, and generated and everything else, um, but for what it was worth, like I said, it was entertaining. If you like action movies, if you like those alien kind of movies, if you want to be entertained for two hours, this is that kind of movie. I cannot put it up inside of that A range, but I think that it does fall inside of the B range. So I'm going to give it a B plus, B to B plus. You know, I think that um, what, you know, the music, there's nothing special about it. The acting, there's nothing real special about it. It, it is not something that it stands out to be in that A portion, but I think that it's good enough as a story to be entertained and watched from that aspect um, to be inside of that range. Uh, yeah, The Tomorrow War. So, I enjoyed watching this film. Um, thought it was pretty good for what it was. Uh, you know, to, to touch on some of the things, I think uh, the cinematography here was pretty good. They had some pretty good camera angles. The CG was mostly pretty good. Like you said, there were a few spots where I was like, okay, that's clearly CG. Um, but it's an Amazon movie, you know? If this was like a AAA, you know, in theaters thing, then maybe I'd be a little bit more nitpicky, but um, you know, for what they had in front of the budget that they had, it was pretty well done. As far as the acting goes, and nobody really had a special performance that I was just like, I'm going to remember this forever. Um, they were all pretty decent. Uh, I like the, um, I can't remember his name and I don't want to stereotype him as that is bad on our show. Uh, J.K. Simmons? No. J I did like J.K. Simmons in this as well, but, uh, uh, he was the, a, the black guy that played in the Detroiters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. You know I can't exactly. think of his name. Yeah, I can't think of his name either. Um, but they were that was um 
that was good as well. Uh, they, they were good. They were kind of stand out to me as well. Um, as far as the story goes, the story, I mean, it was good. Um, we, we're not going to do any spoilers, but the story was good. The ending is kind of, I guess you could say far-fetched a little bit. <laughs> um it's interesting i mean like if, if you stretch your mind to go with them you can go with them uh, so is the story bad no it's pretty good it's it's a it's a good story it could be worse could be better could be worse so so i'm gonna say the story is good um uh, like you said music there was no music that i was like oh my god this is making this so much better um yeah i mean it's it's just another okay to good film from amazon i i uh, encourage people to go check it out. My grade for it is going to be a solid B. Uh, when I think about all the stuff that I put in the B plus, A minus, A, A plus range, it just doesn't fit there. Uh, but it is a solid B. It's definitely watchable. I would encourage everybody to um, go check it out. Uh, just like Michael, you may have to watch it two or three times to um, fully get the gist of what's going on. But uh, go ahead and check it out. Uh, and kids get your parents permission first uh make sure you do that well the the guy's name is sam richardson um and uh that that ending um just to touch on that it is a little unbelievable i mean <laughs> it's like going to space inside of vehicles <laughs> but um and there's some things at the end that's just like really like I, it's just it's just off the wall. It's just I feel like that's not how they wanted the story to end. But because they had already done written what they had written, they're like, okay, now we gotta find a way to make sure that this has a happy end. <laughs> yeah, I thought the movie was over at some point, and then it was like, no, we have more. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go places with this. <laughs> we're gonna do a lot. Um, and 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 I think that it, they could have still made it believable for an unbelievable storyline you know what i mean with it just in that end segment where they you know want to end the war should i say I mean, i'm trying to be very careful within my wording but uh that's the best way that i can put it when they uh yeah i can't i can't say anything without giving it away so i'm just gonna say at the far, end the ending is a little well, far-fetched far -fetched. <laughs> Well, that's all that we have for you guys today. I want to thank all 246 subscribers for, for, for tuning in to us. We're so excited. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for all new subscribers. We, we welcome everybody. The door is open. <laughs> Come on in. You, not intruders. Uh, uh, just make sure you knock. You know, everyone, when you, when you enter people's houses, you want to knock. Okay. No home invasions. We just want to remind everybody. <laughs> um, so tune in to next week. And uh, this has been another exciting episode. Another exciting, exciting, exciting episode of Film Addict.